Hey Tamers and welcome to a Rust Tyrannomon deck profile. He is finally back after BT2 and man I did like playing him in BT2 however he fell off really bad really fast and uh yeah we finally got some more Rust support and here he is back in BT11 and let's get into this deck profile. For the DGX aka level 2s we're doing just for the Pinamons, this whole deck is going to revolve around you having piercing and swinging into your opponent's Digimon, therefore still triggering the effects of checking cards in your opponent's security stack. So Pinamon is going to help you with that because when you attack once per turn, if you attack your opponent's Digimon, you can draw one. So this is going to be great to get your pieces really quick and just giving you more draw power. Now we got the rookies, aka level threes. We got four of the BT11 Agumons. This card is amazing because it is a searcher for tamers. This deck is tamer heavy, so this Agumon is just going to help you get those tamers quickly into your hand. When you on play, you reveal four cards of your deck and you get one tamer among them from your hand. The inherit when you have a tamer in play, it gets 2000 DP, so that's also amazing, giving your uh, level fours and up 2000 DP as an inherit. Up next, we got four of the Palmon from starter deck four. This one, since I said, we're, is focusing a lot on attacking your opponent's Digimon and Palmon. When you attack your opponent's Digimon, you get 2000 DP. And what's awesome about this is it just has one attacking. It doesn't say once per turn. So the new BT11 Rust Tyrannomon does unsuspend when you delete an opponent's Digimon. Therefore, if you attack again, now you're getting 4000 DP on that second swing. That's awesome. Then the last rookies that I'm playing is four of the Terrier Mon that prevent your opponent from gaining memory. Then of course the memory boost, just having them dead on the field when Terrier Mon's there, they can't activate it is, is such an amazing feeling. So that's it for the for the level threes. It's kind of a trend with BT11 that we're kind of running 12 rookies. I've seen 13, but really no more than 12 lately. Um, Champions, aka level fours, we're doing four of the BT11 Tyrannomons. This card is amazing, not only because it's a dual color, now you could kind of get away with playing uh, red option cards if you want, but you also have his ability, which is on play. And when they evolving, you may play one Tamer card with a play cost of three or less from your hand without paying for its cost. What's cool is that it's a blanket effect, so any Tamer that's a play cost of three can be played. The downfall is a three play cost. The reason for that is because all the Taigas are a play cost of three as of now. And then the inherit, while you have a Tamer in play, this Digimon gets 2000 DP. So again, more DP increase that's going into, which is really good, especially if you're going to go against Black War Greymon. Uh, you might not stand the chance because this deck isn't a tier one deck, but however, you will be able to swing over it because you're going to get a lot of DP. So that's a plus. Up next, we got Tyrannomon from EX1. When digivolving, if you don't have a Taiga in play, you may play one from your hand without paying for its cost. That's cool. The downfall is then if you end up do having one, you digivolve, you can't trigger that effect because you already have one on the field, obviously. During your turn, this Digimon is also treated as green. And then, of course, his inherit when this Digimon has Tyrannomon in its name, it gains 2000 DP. So, again, we're focusing on getting DP there. And not to mention just because it's inherit anyway. Up next, we got probably a uh, spicy, dank, really dank champions that we're running. Two rapid mons. And that is why I run four terrier mons. And this card is awesome. So, did you also from three for terrier mon or four from a level three? You have armor purge so if it gets deleted you can just trash the rapid mon and the rookie stays on the field then when digivolving suspend one of your opponent's digimon for each tamer you have in play and then up to three of your opponent's digimon get minus 5000 dp why is this so clutch so besides just deleting digimon with 5000 dp or less even if they have protection unless you know dp reduction you're also gonna have you're gonna suspend them right so now even if you Digivolve over Palmon and it's still your turn, now you're swinging at a Digimon with 8,000 DP instead of 6. And then if you have the, the new Taiga in play, that gives it more DP. So now it could be 9, potentially up to 10,000 that you're swinging with the Rapidmon. And they have to get rid of this because if they don't get rid of this, we're just going to keep doing damage. 
then so if you're swinging up to almost 10,000 dp once you digivolve it you can swing almost every mega because you're giving it minus 5,000 dp even if you end up clashing let's say it's at 9,000 you bring a mega to 9,000 you swing over it this gets deleted and your rookie still stands so it doesn't get deleted but you get what i'm trying to say armor perch triggers that mega's gone your digimon goes back to being a level three so busted i would play three but i feel like three is going to be too much i will try it we'll we'll see how it goes but that's it for the level fours up next with the level fives of course the new bt11 metal tyrannomon when digivolving or on play for each green and black tamer you have in play suspend one of your opponent's digimon then you can choose one of their digimon and they cannot unsuspend during your next unsuspend phase let me talk about this real quick this is really nice that second part of the effect because it's a four cost, right? So, you know, you leave them at three, whatever, they cannot suspend. What's really nice is you can suspend a mega and it can't, it cannot unsuspend. This kind of helps you make sure this doesn't die unless they're going to, you know, use an option card and get rid of it. But then now that kind of, in a way, guarantees you to digivolve it into a level six and swing into it since it's still going to be suspended. So that is the reason why I love that. And then the inherit is just as good. All turns once per turn. While this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon and survives, trash the top card of their security stack. And that with piercing, you're chipping off two damage. The new BT11 Tyrannomon on suspends. It's crazy. We'll talk about it. But there is the BT11 Tyrannomon. And then last but not least, we are running the Master Tyrannomon 4 of. I know what you're thinking. You know, like, oh my god, they're so they cost so much to evil, right? But all the, the Taigas reduce their play cost, which is amazing for this. So don't worry so much about Digivolving for four. This Master Tyrannomon, your turn, all of your Digimon with Tyrannomon in their name gain security attack plus one. So you could do in a way, I was thinking, but you could run a deck where you don't really run level sixes. You could just run the Master Tyrannomon and kind of do a rookie rush kind of thing uh, with all the Tyrannomon since you're going to give them all security attack plus one. But I wanted to do a Rust Tyrannomon deck profile. So here we are. Uh, really good for aggression. And then, of course, the Inherit is just a Greymon. Security attack plus one blanket, which is awesome. That's it for the level fives. Level sixes, you already know. We are running the BT11 Rust Tyrannomon. And we're running four of. This card is stupid, okay? When one of your Digimon will Digivolve into this card, reduce the Digivolution cost by one for each green or black tamer you have in play. We're going to get into some nasty stuff here. All turns once per turn when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, unsuspend this Digimon. So now you can see there <coughs> with the level 5 that you un that you suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. You end up Digivolving sometimes for free. Now you can swing over that Digimon that couldn't unsuspend from here. He unsuspends himself, you trash one, and now you can swing again if you need to busted then last but not least we are running the og rust tyrannomon the dp is low but with all the inherits that we've got you can easily get up to 15 16 000 dp when you attack what makes this card amazing is that during your turn if you have a green tamer in play this digimon can attack your opponent's unsuspended digimon that's nasty right mind you if you're gonna have piercing and stuff and all that um dp it's busted when this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. That is good, but if you can't capitalize on that, it's you're just suspending it and then your turns are going to end and they unsuspend anyway. So it's, it's a good balance. It's good and bad. Again, if you can't get rid of the other Digimon that you suspend, it's kind of pointless. So that's it for the level 6s. I am not running any level 7s. So moving on into the Tamers, we have three of the BT11 Taigas. With the play cost of three, your turn, all of your Digimon gain 1,000 DP. That's a blanket effect, which is awesome. So now if you have your Rapidmon, there goes 1,000 DP, and that's for each one you have since they do stack. So if you have three, now that Rapidmon is going to be at 9,000 DP. That's stupid. Your turn... When one of your green Digimon would Digivolve into a level 5 or higher by suspending this Tamer, reduce the Digivolution cost by 1. So here we go. We're getting into reducing uh, evil cost. So even just 1, now your ultimates are going to cost 3. And 
your roster and this one is going to cost three and the other one is going to cost four and of course they do stack where if you have two you could trigger two and then the best taiga you could run is the og taiga giving all your tyrannomons piercing during your turn then when digivolving one of your digimon into a digimon card in your hand with tyrannomon in its name you may suspend this tamer to reduce the digivolution cost by one why is this one better besides you getting piercing for all your tyrannomons you can use this when you're digivolving into your champions because they're all tyrannomons besides rapidmon this one limits you level five or higher. That's what I don't like. Um, because sometimes, you know, you just want if you're gonna digivolve for free, let's say you're at two memory, you digivolve for free, right? You suspend two, you go into the any Tyrannomon. And now you can digivolve into your ultimate, leaving them at two, especially if it's the one that suspends, right? So if it's the one that suspends, now for just having these two tigers and you being at memory two. You jumped up to a level five. You suspended two of your opponent's Digimon, and one of them cannot unsuspend. That's crazy. I wouldn't be able to do that if I had two of these, unless I already had a level four going into a level five. So that is why I believe this Taiga is just better, hands down. Uh, last but not least, we're doing two of the Mimis. You're mostly always going to have level fives in a sense. And just being able to suspend Mimi and raise from your breeding area up, potentially swinging for game, is insane. So, mind you, if you do have a, a rookie here, let's say you have a rookie in the breeding area, right? I'll set this up real quick. And, you know, you're going to swing, I don't know, anything. So, we have Rapidmon. No, that's not a level five. You have a level five. Remember, it has to be a level five or higher. So, you got a level five. And you need that last swing. Now, that restaurant on swings, or if not, if you're scared that it's going to get deleted and they have one security left, you'll use Mimi, Suspender, bring a Palmon. Now you could swing with both of them going for game if you need to. So, Mimi, start of your turn, gain two or less. If you have two or less memory, it sets your memory to three. So, it's a memory set tamer. During your main phase, if you have a level five or higher green Digimon in play, you can suspend this tamer to hatch a DJI card into an empty space in your breeding area or move one level three or higher Digimon from your breeding area to the battle area. Um, for a lot of you, I know there's a lot of people that are new. This effect, let's say, you know, the DJI was here already in the same turn. I Digivolve and then I used Mimi's effect and I brought up Palmon. This Palmon does not, it's considered not having summoning sickness because it's technically already there. It's weird. It's one of those kind of uh, loopholes so to say in this sense so that's why mimi is so busted in green decks that they could just chip the last damage um so mimi is just fantastic not only that it's also a source for the ruster animon because it's a tamer it's counting a tamer and i guess i could probably talk about that now let's say it's like this so let's say they leave you at one you have three you can digivolve boom five into a six so you can tap this to reduce it by one now it's four three two and then his own inherit one zero so now you're digivolving for free and you're still at one so that's why this rust randomon is just insanely stupid i love it um of course if they play hades force and delete all your tamers well then that's sad <laughs> but uh there's that and let's finish this deck profile off with the option cards here we are running two of the green memory boost again if you know they'd like to leave you at one go ahead and prop that you know you can go to three you could end up digivolving into uh any level fives and suspend one of the taigas so now cost three instead of four so pretty good reveal the top four cards of your deck add one green digimon among them to your hand and then place the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order and then of course the delay is gaining two memory after you play the card so you have to wait a full turn if you don't know and last but not least it all sounds fun right and if your opponent doesn't have any digimon that's sus that's suspended well you can trigger any of you know when rust randomon deletes an opponent's digimon you can trigger the inherit from the level five or you can trash them from the security and yeah piercing doesn't matter if your opponent doesn't have a suspended digimon so to solve that we're just going to play three needle sprays plain and simple needle spray 
to spend one of your opponent's Digimon, they inherit, activate this card's main effect, then add this card to your hand. I love this because again, props, they have two Digimon, you suspend the other one, and now this goes back to your hand instead of going to the trash. So if they end up having a reboot, now you're like, okay, well, F you, let me play a needle spray, and now Rustler Edmond's gonna get you, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna chomp you. But that's pretty much it. I don't play Flower Cannon just because for that Black War Greymon matchup, it's in, if it's in the Inherit, it suspends all of your opponent's Digimon without blocker. And that War Greymon is gonna have blocker, and it's also gonna have reboot anyway, and then it's just gonna go straight into the trash. I don't think it goes back into your hand. This one does. So this one, hands down, is the best way to go. It's a very fun deck to play. Try it out. How are you running this Tyrannomon deck? Is it working for you? Is it not? Do you think he's still lacking some stuff? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll catch you on the next video.